What do you think of when I say quilt? Quilting is seen as a craft by the art world and by the general public, something women folk do in their spare time. Old fabric pieces sewn together creating intricate patterns and playing with color to create warm and comforting blankets. Well, what is wrong with that? All the time and effort, blood, sweat, and tears that are poured into each quilt, each in its own right could be considered a piece of art. But these are not your grandmother's quilts. Lisa Butler takes the stereotype of the quilt and completely destroys it. It cannot be questioned whether or not this is art. These portraits, so lifelike and full of color, tell the stories of real human beings, many of her quilts being based on historic photographs. Today, I will be looking at I Go to Prepare a Place for You that Bisa Butler completed in 2021. It is a portrait of Harriet Tubman taken from this image by Benjamin F. Powelson. This is the earliest known image of Harriet Tubman, and it shows her in about her mid-40s. For those who don't know Harriet Tubman, she was born into enslavement and escaped in 1849 with her two brothers. She then worked with the Underground Railroad to help other enslaved people escape. It was said that she helped anywhere from 70 to 300 people escape. She worked with other abolitionists such as Frederick Douglass, Thomas Garrett, and Martha Coffin Wright. She also worked as a nurse, cook, and laundress during the Civil War, aiding fugitive escaped people. She's an icon of the American Civil Rights Movement and is replacing Andrew Jackson on a $20 bill by 2030. Butler's quilt, steeped with symbolism, shows Tubman gazing right at the viewer. The quilt stands at about 90 by 64 inches. It is constructed using an applique process of sewing one piece of fabric on top of another, layering these fabrics to simulate depth and movement, showing lighter and darker stripes of Tubman's large skirt to show the depth. She used cotton, silk, and velvet fabrics. The velvet was used to convey texture in the hair to give it a soft look and feel. Butler uses a freehand, long-arm quilting machine to add the applique and to quilt the layers together. There's so much meaning steeped into this quilt. The cool blues symbolize the hiding and blending in. Tubman had to keep a cool composure and to keep hidden during her time traveling on the Underground Railroad. The red symbolizes her fierceness and determination. She was a determined woman to continue sneaking back into the Deep South to extricate so many enslaved people. Her dress is made from patterns and fabrics based on designs by women from the Congo River. The center of this dress shows violet and orange foliage on a teal background, with a lion sitting at the center. The lion is representative of Tubman and her strength and character. The rest of the skirt has gold foliage with a green background. The foliage gradually clears the higher it gets. This symbolizes the journey from turmoil to freedom. At the bottom of her skirt are waves of orange that symbolize pain and turmoil that reach upward and become strong flowers, symbolic of strong women. The entire background of the quilt is decorated with a sunflower pattern. The North Star was relied on by people trying to escape and to guide them, and is acknowledged by the sunflower. The sun also being a star, the sunflower symbolizes this guiding star. It also has a devotional aspect that the sunflower follows the sun as it moves throughout the day. Butler wanted this to symbolize how faithful Tubman was. These portraits are a piece of beauty, and so awe-inspiring being made from fabric. Visa Butler's works of art. This piece truly celebrates Harriet Tubman and her contributions and fearlessness fighting against the injustice of slavery. So much meaning is steeped into this quilt. This is an evocative and provoking piece. The unwavering gaze of Tubman forces the viewer to look deeper and to confront the art. The bright colors showing a vibrancy never before seen in the black and white photos of Tubman.